Theresa May will return to Brussels next week to search once more for a deal that Parliament can accept. Until she has that, the official position remains that Britain will leave on the 29th of March without a deal, a position many of her own ministers simply do not support. Well, I am very concerned about what no deal uh, would mean for the British people and for the national interest, concerned about the economic impact, concerned about the impact for national security, concerned about the impact on the integrity of the United Kingdom. So I don't believe that leaving without a deal on the 29th of March is the, would be in the national interest. Can you stay in the government if no deal becomes the position that we're headed for? I make no secret of the fact that I am very concerned about the consequences of leaving without a deal. I don't think it would be a responsible course of action. Tonight, Mrs May wrote to Conservative MPs saying, I do not underestimate how deeply or how sincerely colleagues hold the views which they do on this important issue. But I believe that a failure to make the compromises necessary to reach and take through Parliament a withdrawal agreement which delivers on the result of the referendum will let down the people who sent us to represent them and risk the bright future that they all deserve. History will judge us all for the parts we have played in this process. But her former colleagues from here are warning Mrs May about her place in history if she doesn't remove the threat of no deal. It's only being used to threaten Conservative MPs. It's got nothing to do with the real negotiations in Brussels. If she keeps on threatening this uh, ticking time bomb under the British economy, then I wouldn't be surprised if some members of the government won't wear it and quit. This weekend, exporters are sending goods across the world which are due to arrive after Brexit. Such is the uncertainty now affecting business, they don't know what the UK's trading status will be when those goods land. Or for that matter, who will still be in government? Carl Dinnan, ITV News.